Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Us, this theme is awesome. Yes, this theme is awesome. But it does not beat Scott Steiner's NESE theme. I'm sorry. Well, it does not, but what it does beat is the fact that the Miz is from the great state of Ohio. I can't Hell be your six. No, that's your Chicago Cubs, too. Speaking of Ohio, Homer, what would happen if uh, the BCS title game in college football was Alabama versus Ohio State? Who would we have? Uh, we would have national champion Ohio State Buckeyes. That's what we could have. We, we would one, have. Of our, one of our favorite teams would be national champions. And i got to say right now, I mean, I know this is not really time for college football talk, but Terrell Pryor, the quarterback of Ohio State, is the top candidate for the highest bid, so I mean, everything is going well. We have a six pen tag. Terrell Pryor is a beast, bets. speaking of which, but anyway. That's money in the bank preview, six man tag. It is will win. Miz could also, if he does win the money in the bank, he could also be very well on his way to becoming the very first ever WEDF Grand Slam champion. He didn't need the Intercontinental title. He didn't. He's bigger than that. Because I'm the Miz! And, and I'm Whoa, wait! Boo! Oshie Jacks 2009 ruined it. Alright, I'm As much as I don't like this interruption, that is just it is. That's how John Morrison rolls, man. This is former tag team partner. John Morrison making his way to the ring. He'll be partners. The greatest team of the 21st century reunites once again here tonight. That's I would like to say, though, that I, I believe that uh, John Morrison is the Marty Gennetti of this team. Even though Morrison was the one who turned on Miz. Well, you know what? He that's, that's, you know, it doesn't need to be the fact. He beats John, so beating John Michaels makes him Marty Jannetty. You know what, the Miz, is, the Miz is a future world champion, that's all I have to say. I think both are future world champions. Oh, no doubt about it. There's a, it, it's a big and bright future for both men equally. I gotta agree with Miz, how dare you, Jomo? How dare you? Back to what he says, he beat Shawn, says we're going to beat Shawn Michaels. Oh, that's, that's actually true. Says the torch is his. You know, I don't think Morrison should be telling Miz that he's better than the mic. Yeah, really, Morrison's won the talk. I am the reason people watch Monday Night Raw. Ooh, harsh. Oh, wow. Tension heating up. Man. Oh. It's daring him to hit him. Oh, they're, they they going to have a fight. they going to have a fight. She just got real, Oh, no. Oh. oh. Tension heating up! They're gonna be partners, but this match is coming up next. Well, there, there comes their partner, Dolph Ziggler, a man who is also in the Money in the Bank. All six men of the Money Bank are in tag in this uh, giant six-man tag match tonight. Well, Dolph Ziggler could win Money in the Bank. You never know. CM Punk, he said this, I think, in the last Raw. You don't have to be the winner of these matches. As long as you're the last man standing right, to grab that briefcase, that's all that matters. It yeah, is all that it's, matters. Ziggler has so much potential to be the last man standing because he's got that vicious sleeper hold that can put everyone down for the I mean, 
You put you put that the other one in that sleeper hole. You're the only one standing. You go up and grab that briefcase. That's as much as simple as that. It is as simple as that. Speaking of which, here comes Jesus himself, CM Punk. Wait, he's, he's shaved? He shaved? He still has a beard. He's still Jesus. He's CM Punk. He's great. He's straight edge and you're not. Josh, I heard, you have, Josh, I heard you have a beard. And that beard's name is Angelina Love. Boo! Oh. <laughs> you know, Dolph Ziggler actually upset CM Punk with that with a cheap pinfall that suspect has fallen to in the past. He put her feet on the ropes. Um, I got I got to tell you though, Homer, I got to give you props on that one, man. Good one. I I don't think I can even come back from that one. Hey man, that's when they call me meow meow. Kofi <laughs> Kingston. He has history with Biz Morton and Dolph Ziggler as well. That's right, and that's why he is uh, on the other side of the road, on the other side of the ring in this, in this six-man tag match. And he's, okay. I, think, I think that his his ring style is perfect for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Oh, oh he yes, no doubt. He also has world title. Uh, he, he's been in world title matches before. Here's a man who's been a world champion, Randy Orton. Youngest oh, world oh, heavyweight Danny. champion in existence at that. Correct, and this man is such a vicious competitor in the ring. He could RKO, RKO everyone and win the climb of the ladder. There's no telling what he's capable of tonight or at WrestleMania. The Viper is one of the most unorthodox wrestlers you will ever encounter in the WEDF. There, there is just no one the WEDF who has the style that Randy Orton has when it comes to wrestling and just hit you with sudden attacks from out of nowhere as as demonstrated by his RKO. That's exactly why they call him the Viper. I mean, he is able to just strike you without a moment's notice and you're down and there's nothing you can do about it. That's exactly correct. In the past episode of Raw, Randy Orton hit Dolph Ziggler with three RKO's, sending a message. Sending a message. Maybe the Viper could be the favorite. Remember, he is also the first WEDF champion in history. He could be looking to regain that title for the second time. Orton poses that, too. And with Pyro. You gotta love that Orton pose. Right now we have to start the match off with The Miz and CM Punk. They had some history. CM Punk defended the ECW title against The Miz back in 2007. And he's kicking everyone. Miz, or CM Punk, I'm sorry. Quickly using that martial arts background to, to take out both Miz and Morrison. Morrison pinned CM Punk in the last episode. CM Punk also holds victories over John Morrison as well on the final episode of ECCW. Oh, he missed. Where was he going? Uh, I think he was going for Ziggler, but Ziggler somehow was able to dodge the attack. Getting out of the way just in the nick of time. And now because of this over aggressive CM Punk, that's leaving him wide open to attack from the team of Miz, Morrison, and Ziggler. I think what CM Punk needs to realize is that there, there, there are countouts in this match, and now he's getting back in the ring. I mean, he was being countered out by the ref. You have to get rid of Ziggler to get back in the ring. There's also more than one person in this matchup, after all, and CM Punk has to realize that you have to work as a team. Now tagging in Kofi Kingston. Remember the history, Miz beat Kofi Kingston for the, the Intercontinental title. Man at Royal Reckoning, and that was a hell of a match, too. And For a while, I've been considering Kofi Kingston to be the favorite. Well, now I, I just see that it, that may not be the case. I think all six of these men could be winner, winner too. You never know. I've been going back and forth in my head as the favorite, and like, like Frank Dog just said, uh, I've picked all six of these men at one point or another to be the favorite in this match. So the only thing I can say is that uh, one of these men will win. They have their own unique style. And I think 
Morrison wants to tag. There he got Morrison in. Fuzzy tagged him in after that assault. I think what they need to realize is that in order to be fresh and ready for WrestleMania, that they have to work together at least for the time being so that uh, they can end this match. As, as Wait a minute, Kofi Kingston! Oh, shit. Voltron! Kofi Kingston eliminated John Morrison to win that breakthrough battle royal back in December, so they have quite a bit of history, too. Morrison was all right. They didn't get a world title shot. But as I was saying, you win the match as quickly as possible. You can leave yourself fresh for WrestleMania because uh, you're going you're gonna to need everything that you could possibly get in order to survive that match. Oh yeah, especially in Money in the Bank. We it's been proven time and time again. No matter how many guys there have been in that matchup, no matter how many favorites you picked at one point or another, that match is simply one of the most unpredictable matches you will ever see in history. You cannot pinpoint one guy in a ladder match like that to be the winner. Well, miscommunication. Now Miz is just, oh! See that? He's taunting in front of Randy Orton. Randy Orton's just staring him down and not, not even scared. Randy Orton is waiting for this moment and now he's being tagged in. There's that move that Big Show has done twice. Randy Orton now getting his moment in the ring. Oh, uh, Randy Orton said he wanted to go after Miz's Intercontinental title, but I said he'd get something bigger, money in the bank. He's too squaring off right now. Randy Orton is dissecting the Miz, or he's trying to. Was. Oh, yeah. power slam! Power slam out of nowhere. Two! No. He's able to kick out. One! He's able to kick out quickly. Now, Orton again trying to dissect the Miz right there. And, well, I gotta say, I, I don't know just how the Miz is gonna hold up against Orton. We saw. Oh, us. Orton calculated into this strikes and knows when to attack. Orton is e e e oh, is okay. oh, shit. Where'd that come from? Wow! Just as we said, Randy Orton was there okay up from there. Nowhere. One! Two, he's got him! No, he kicked out! What? Too late in the match. I, I was sure that this match was over. I don't know how the Miz kicked out of the RKO. Uh, I honestly don't know why he kicked out of the RKO. I mean, I would have just as well ended the match, let him get the win, and then, you know, call it a night. And then go on to win at WrestleMania. That's correct. That's all I mean. big and there's the, again that move that Big Show has done twice. I'm going to keep reminding everybody about that because it's ridiculous to see a 500 pound man do that. You know, we've got Dolph Ziggler just now coming Worse than uh, El Hefe. Ziggler, Ziggler is, uh, his, his green style is very athletic but right now. That doesn't mean anything because Orton makes Ziggler taste that uh, neck breaker, back breaker, whatever you want to call it again. And now Orton going for... No, he wasn't. Oh, and Orton is still stalking him right there. Ziggler is down. And, well, folks, I, I got to say, Orton could make oh. Ziggler... Oh, there was that kick again. But that time he connected completely, and now he's tagging in Morrison. Ziggler narrowly avoiding the clutches of the legend killer once again. Now Morrison with that kick to the back of the head of Randy Orton. Morrison also has something to prove. I gotta say, Morrison, he has a strong case. If anybody, Morrison has the strongest case of everyone in this match to say he's two the episodes, He's pinned Orton twice. Oh, once. Once, I think. Once. I oh, think, I yeah. believe it was once. Morrison went for the Starship Starship pain. pain. Or wisely countered that. <coughs> this match continues, folks, in the next break. And if Josh Matthews was here, I'd be like CM Punk and tell him to shut up. Shut up, Josh. No, you. Oh!